Hi everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard and I'm here straddling a base because today the tip is tagging runners. Now I did a post on this uh, a while back but I thought I'd demonstrate it so you could see visually what I'm talking about here. Now how to get into this position and the footwork involved in getting to the base is pretty complicated. I did a couple posts on that and there will probably need to be a couple video series uh, of just that footwork in the future. But for now, this is just tips on how to properly tag a base runner. And if you're an infielder, whether you're at first base tagging a runner sliding in, if you're a second base or shortstop, if you're a third base, the principle, uh, no matter where the base is, applies. And that is, you want to think of a capital V when you are tagging. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple options that a lot of kids do that are actually mistakes, and I want to show you the correct way to do it. Now with real little kids, many times they will try to catch the ball, hold the glove and the ball and the other hand together and then make the tag, okay? Of course, kids do that because the coaches say you don't want to drop the ball, so tag with two hands. As you get older, the game gets faster, your glove work has to get faster, and that's where a one-handed tag has to be done. So as kids get older, they got to get that other hand out of the glove and work on tagging people with just one hand. The other mistake kids make is what is called a sweep tag, okay? They will catch the ball and they will sweep down and try to catch the runner on the way. Now there's a few disadvantages of that. First, the quickest uh, distance between two points is a straight line. And many times when kids sweep, they'll catch and they'll create a big U. They'll go down, sweep, and come up, and that is longer. This U right here, sweeping tag, is not a straight line to the runner. A capital V is. So the correct way to tag a runner is I'm waiting for the ball, I catch the ball, when I catch the ball, I go straight down, tag the runner, and I come straight back up again, a capital V. Straight down and straight up, okay? It allows you to get to the runner as fast as you can, and coming up, allows that umpire to see the ball and you get the glove out of there so that it can't kick the ball out of the glove or anything like that. Now another thing involves safety. You'll notice that my finger here is outside my glove, which is pretty common for kids as they get older. Now if I catch the ball and put my glove down on the ground like this, my finger is exposed to the runner and his spikes. So that of course uh, creates a pretty dangerous situation for my hand. So even though I'm protecting the ball in this situation, I'm doing a poor job of protecting my hand. So the proper way to do the V tag is to come straight down like I said, but face the fingers of the glove at the runner. So that when he slides, he will hit the front part of your fingers in the glove, and then you lift the glove straight up. It's quicker with a capital V. It protects your finger if you point the fingers at the runner. And also make sure, obviously, you are tagging in front of the base instead of on the base. I see that sometimes with real little kids when they practice tagging. They'll put the glove down on the base. Obviously, the runner is in front of the base. So catch, capital V, fingers facing the runner, and you'll be good to go.